Can we make an addendum to the, the rule set? We get a Gen 7 starter, dude. A Gen 7 starting Pokemon. Isn't that crazy? Zath has never been one. So I'm going to force Zath to be this starter. Chat, the goal tonight, based on how much time we have, our goal tonight is to get at least two Vermillion. That'd be great. What happened? Why did we lose? How did that happen? It's actually fine because we needed a run to remind us that we're not invincible, dude. We will not lose to Brock. We're not gonna lose to Brock again. Trust me when I say, I am guaranteeing this run gets past Erica. Not tonight, <laughs> but run number, holy shit, this is run number 20. If I lose this run, I have to gift another sub, dude. That is tragic. I guarantee you this run gets past Sabrina. And if this run is not a new PB getting past Sabrina, I will gift five subs instead. How about that? That's how confident I am that this run is going to be a new PB. Watch this play. Goes for Rock Tomb. Goes for Bulldoze. Easy kill. And now we Aqua Jet because we have priority this time, chat. Bang! No more wiping to an Archon, dude. Aqua Jet, bang. See, so much easier. So much easier when I'm not throwing, dude. Chat, here we go. Here's the big reveal. What's it gonna be? Actually so good. Actually insanely good lucky. Holy shit. This is such a good egg. Wow. This is actually an insane, dude. Okay. Actually, like, kind of unreal Wonder Egg. This thing evolves into, like, one of the most OP Pokemon of all time. All you need to evolve Kubfu is a Water Stone or a da Dust Stone. Dusk Stone. Which we already have a Water Stone. So we could just get an Urshifu right now, which is insane. And apparently you can't normally get Kubfu until, like, the end of the game. So the fact we got that from a Wonder Egg, that's why I'm so hyped, dude. Urshifu, baby. Urshifu. This is big time, dude. This is actually huge. 130 base attack, 100 base defense, 100 base HP, and 97 base speed, dude. Actually insanely cracked. If this isn't the run, I'm going to take it up with Nintendo. How can we lose? I mean, it's still very possible, but I mean, having this thing is kind of insane. <laughs> and because of my current strategies with the Dexnav grinding instead of normal grinding, like I did for a lot of the early runs, our Pokemon are already getting like properly EV trained early on, which is going to help a lot with a lot of these battles. Free switch in to Dursty. We Brick Break. That hurts, but Brick Break destroys him. And then we Brick Break and we win. It's literally that easy. All right, Bugsy. Later. 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 Oh my God, we're we're faster. <laughs> oh my God, so free! Holy shit! How do we outspeed Scyther, dude? It is a little strong. It's really nice, actually. It's so free, and it learns U-turn, dude. Like unreal. Actually an unreal Pokemon. <laughs> okay, so now all we have left to do before Misty is we catch our Chinchou really quick. <laughs> Dude! We have a shiny Magikarp? Are you serious? Bro, bro, wait, wait. This is full odds. This is full odds to shiny Magikarp. This is the run, dude. This is a blessed run. This is the run. What the fuck is this? Full odds. Normally we're limited to one Gyarados, but because of the shiny claws, 
I can catch this. We not only now get access to two Gyaradoses <laughs> if we need it, but also we get, <laughs> we get two encounters here. Chat, what do we name the shiny Magikarp? Oh, name it Radical because the Gyarados will be red. Actually true, man. That is a good point. There it is. Oh my God. And its speed is already at an S. Yes. <laughs> It's actually, wait, is that better than our Gyarados right now? <laughs> it is. Dude, the shiny's better. This is the run V, what are we on now? Like 11 that we've had Chin Chow, something like that. Chat, the key here is to not lose our run to Surge. Because <laughs> as you can see, we are extremely weak to electricity right now. So we're going to have to hope that our Surge strat works. Thankfully, we our Umbreon strat always works pretty well. And now that we have U-turn as well, that should help. All right, Misty, bang. What typing is it right now? Uh, was it Night Slash? Ooh, big Night Slash damage. Ooh, that was huge, actually. We outspeed with Crobat here. So we'll just go U-turn, kill it, switch into Dursty. Should be able to sweep the rest with Durst. That's fine. And bang. Easy, I told you. I told you it was going to be completely free, dude. We lead here. Hopefully we one-shot the Pin Churchin. It's going to set up Electric Terrain, which is annoying. Unfortunately, because we didn't get a Badoo this run, we do not have Grassy Terrain to counter that. Shouldn't be too much of a scare, but we'll see what happens. Now we go for Poison Jab in the event that he switches out, which he does not. Free kill on Pin Churchin. We have a Berry to protect us here. We should be fine. I'm just going to Detect to maybe run another turn out of the way. It is going for Psychic Fangs. Ooh. It's going Psychic Fangs. That's probably... Wait, why is it doing that instead of Thunder Fang? Now Electric Terrain is gone, which is good for us. We are going to go for Sucker Punch to break. Wow, it switched out. Bug Buzz is again. It doesn't Volt Switch, which is great. This guarantees us a kill on Vika Volt, which is one of the scarier Pokemon that he has. We go Confuse right here. It's going to boost his special attack, which is a little scary. But now it is going to try to go for another Charge Beam. We're going to Dig. Hopefully it hits itself here. That's fine. Dig is going to do a ton of damage here. Massive damage with Dig. We take that. I don't think this kills. Even after two boosts, I think we're okay. Nice, that was a crit. This should be enough to get it to low health and then Sucker Punch to kill it. Ooh, is Sucker Punch gonna kill here, I wonder. Let's try it. Nice. Oh, that's a guaranteed dub. GG. GG. Thunder Fang probably kills, I imagine. Yeah, that's fine. Do we survive a Psychic Fangs? Because it is going to outspeed us. Let's just go for it and see what happens. Nice. Huge. Huge, huge live there. Very, very nice. We detect just to see what it's going for. It is going Grass Knot. We are just going to attempt to attack. That's fine. At this point, we are good. We go signal beam. Ooh, that's actually... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh... Fuck, man! Fuck! I fucking... Oh, God! I'm... Mm. Mm. Unfortunately, we have lost the run, man. Very frustrating. This one really blows, dude. I haven't lost a run to Surge in a while, and it's very frustrating. I'm just really frustrated and embarrassed that we even lost that in the first place. Just not, it doesn't feel good. And all of the Pokemon that would help just can't evolve until after Surge. It just fucking blows, dude. Scraggy, Baltoy, and Silicobra all evolve after the level cap, which makes them completely useless here. Same thing with Grimer. Look how, look how many Pokemon we just didn't have that could evolve this run. Compared to other runs where we've had Pokemon that can actually evolve and be helpful for that fight. That is another whiteout. I believe I said I would have to gift five subs for this one. If I threw this run, I believe that is what I said at the beginning of this run. Wow. I'm really, really, really 
frustrated that we lost the run that we got this good of a Pokemon. That is really frustrating. We just have to make the next run even better. Oh, and this was the one with the shiny Magikarp. <laughs> this is my grandson. Unfortunately, we lost to our own Hubris, man. So we're gonna have to name him Hubris. Here we go, everybody. We are picking from Unova, and we already know it's going to be Oshawott. It's a Cubone. Actually, good encounter. Good egg, actually. This is good. Bone zone. <laughs> Wait, bone moves ignore immunity and resistances? What? So I can just use bone meringue on like a bird? Wait, that's actually crazy. Good encounter for Surge, man. That's a good encounter. Oh, dry bones here. Wow, went for bulldoze? Why? Bang! Oh my god, you idiot. You sent in your flying type, but I have the ability, dude. I have the ability. You can't handle it. Bang! I mean, Brock is easy. You guys know this. I threw against Brock recently, but come on. It was like the one time we lost to Brock, right? Full faith in the Premier Ball, dude. Full faith. First ball does it all. Give it to me. Give it to me. Dude, can this thing confusing hit once? Just... No! Oh my god, man. No, man. No, man. Oh my god. I accidentally ran away, man. Okay, well that's two wasted encounters. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So knockoff does a massive amount of damage. It gets rid of the citrus berry. And then between the aqua jet here and the accelerock coming up next, that should be enough to kill it. Bang. Okay. Okay. Why is it going for icy wind? There we go. It just threw, dude. I don't know why it was going for icy wind there. Like I just clearly, it just gave me free damage and wasted its berry. That was beautiful. Please tell me the IVs are at least decent this time. At least decent. That is good enough. That is actually really solid, I'm not gonna lie. The attack being a B- minus is a significant upgrade over the last run, and the special defense being an S this time around is also really good. So between Beedrill with Toxic Spikes and potential Stealth Rocks with Lycan Rock, we should be pretty much set for this battle. The reason we have Galissapod is to revenge kill the Raichu if necessary. If it gets a free switch into Raichu, we just first impression and one shot it. I made sure ahead of time, I got max attack in Umbreon, which is obviously overkill. You don't need max attack in Umbreon. <laughs> but for this battle specifically, I made sure we were max attack, so that way our digs were not three-shotting Manectrike anymore, okay? I also made sure I have three... Chat. I have three Pokemon with Sucker Punch, a fourth Pokemon with a priority move. I have four Pokemon that have priority just so we don't have to lose to something because it's faster, okay? I made sure we were prepared. If we lost to Surge this run, I would lose my mind. So because we outspeed here, we are guaranteed to tank one of these hits. It raises its defense here, which is fine. We get Toxic Spikes down immediately. Discharge will probably do about half our health here, I imagine. Oh, they got a crit. Wow, they got a crit. This makes it so that way everything that switches in gets Toxic Poisoned when it comes in. This should kill us now. We should be able to do one more of those. Good, we stalled. Oh, wow, the switch. Wow, they switched into Vika Volt, huh? We will get a switch out here anyways because of our ability when we drop under 50% health. So what we do here is we go for first impression. Bug Buzz should not one-shot us here. Oh, it goes Volt Switch. That will probably kill, but that's fine. So it gets the double Intimidate there. But we just eat it. Hidden Power Grass is going to do probably about half our health, I'd imagine. And then what we do here is because of the fact that this thing is poisoned, we are going to just heal. Because Charge Beam isn't enough to kill, and we are just going to let the poison kill this thing. And now we get a free heal with the run because it's going to go for Charge Beam again. Free Volt Absorb 
heal, and my neck trike dies. And now it is going to go for Bug Buzz. So I just need to check here really quick. Umbreon is a special defense tank, but Bug Buzz one shots us guaranteed. Can I let the run die here? Can I just, I, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Wow, we actually survived it. More damage for free. So the toxic spikes come in here. Bolton is going to go for, I imagine, Thunder Fang. Excellent. Okay, so we do not outspeed. That is what I thought. I thought because our IVs were not good enough, we wouldn't outspeed. So that was planned. That was expected. And we do have to go for Dig. This shouldn't one shot, but it will be close. Yeah, does a no shot. We just flinched, man. No shot that just made us flinch. That is really unfortunate. Did a little less than 50 damage to Umbreon. And our physical defense was 83. Our physical defense is 54 here. So 30 less defense. That would cut it close. <laughs> but we have to keep Umbreon alive here. So. Okay, lived with more health than I thought we would. We just go for Accelerock here. Nice, okay. Okay, that should, should guarantee the win. This thing's base speed I think is the same as Fluffer's. And because our IV is not perfect, we will get outsped. So assuming that this goes as planned, we go Accelerock for massive damage here. Oh my God, I actually almost one shot it. We go for Sucker Punch here because this thing only has attacking moves. And now we should be able to get a free Moonlight here because all it has left is a Pinchurchin and it has to get poisoned. So we should be able to stall this thing out. Nice, GG. Actually, GG, dude. Oh, okay. Finally passed Surge again. Oh my God, man. There are too many Pokemon when you can't even get a Zubat encounter in a cave anymore. Kind of true, man. Like, it's sad that in both caves, I just desperately want a Zubat and can't get it. That's the saddest part. Because a Crobat, because we didn't get a Swablu, we actually, like, have to strategize for Erika. When you get a Swablu, the Erika fight is trivially easy. It's, like, stupid, dumb easy. But when you don't have a Swablu, it's much harder. Oh, wow, it's a shiny Meowth, guys. Wow, shiny Meowth. It's a shiny chat. Wow, look at that. Isn't that crazy? A shiny Meowth, dude. Wow. <laughs> Fortunately, we cannot catch it because we are Dexnav farming. I think that's going to be good then. I think this is, based on our encounters, this is kind of the best we could do team-wise. We just need to play smart and hope that our strategies and preparation pay off here. So we know Rillaboom goes first here. The question is, does he immediately switch out or does he attempt to go for like a grassy glide kind of thing? He does immediately switch out. So that's a little concerning. What does he switch into? Okay, Meganium is interesting. I can do like massive damage with Excisor here for free. This is really, oh, oh, because it resists bug. Oh, interesting. Sago should wall it, dude. It should wall it pre- I mean, we have massive special defense bulk. Plus a citrus berry. Plus we can switch out and heal. This is pretty massive damage. This is quad effective on Meganium. I don't know if this one shots, but it should do a fuck ton. Huge crit. Huge crit. Very, very nice. Extremely nice. This is why we have Sago Waffle, though. Massive damage with Psychic here. We should be able to survive an Earth Power because of our massive bulk. It's going to hurt a lot. Come on, Slow King. Yes! Come on. Come on. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. It's good enough. We can go into Fruit of the Loom. Free switch in. We should outspeed. How is that hitting me? I'm... Wait, what? Oh, we're part dragon. Wait, we're not part flying. We're part dragon. Well, either way, air slash should kill. Maybe, 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 maybe actually. Ooh, it is faster somehow. So it does have some speed investment. Okay. My only issue is I don't know if we actually survive an earth power here. Cause when we got hit with that last earth power, we had like a hundred and like 30 health. And that brought us down all the way to like 42. Alternatively, we could go June Bug and hope that a 
stab first impression kills, <laughs> but I just don't have a lot of faith in that. We're gonna go Junebug just to see. Nothing should one-shot us. First impression. Does this kill? Yes! Oh, huge, 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 huge. Okay, we go into little Dwebby here. That was a huge, huge first impression kill there. Oh my God, that was massive. We just go for X Scissor here, okay? We have to eat a Leaf Storm. It should be neutral. The special in the special investment pays off. The Focus Sash is already broken. It's already broken. I don't know if X Scissor one shots here. Oh, 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 oh beautiful. Oh, little Dwebby, you're so good. You're so fucking. Oh my god. Oh, beautiful. You turned again. You turned again. This is a free X Scissor. Yes. This is actually massive for killing Electrode. Because this is my one shot. Yes, Erica, you dumb idiot. You dumb fucking idiot. Yes. Dude, the special defense investment went huge, dude. Sucker punch. Shit on, nerd. <laughs> Oh, that feels so good, dude. Oh, that's big. God, that's so massive. Okay. Also, okay, don't take any of the last, like, 10 seconds of dialogue out of context. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was huge, dude. Pay out the believers. Was there a prediction? I don't know why I get confused. I've done this puzzle I get, it, le legitimately. Oh, uh, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is a really confusing puzzle. It's even for adults. This puzzle is just insanely confusing. Can't believe how confusing this puzzle is. It's just so crazy. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Here we go. Told you we'd get through at least Giovanni 1 this stream, and it's 3 in the morning, and we're doing Giovanni 1. <laughs> Trace Dilds need you to do massive damage here. Big earthquake. Huge earthquake here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to use Protect because I'm curious what it's going for. Frost Breath. Okay, interesting. Do I want to just go for a Rock Slide here? Wow, big damage, actually. Oh, the flinch! What a god! The Trace Dilds were too scary for it. It was too scared of the Trace Dilds. Holy shit. What a play. What a play. The RNG in our favor, dude. Holy shit. And now we get to burn the Focus Sash, dude. Holy shit. We're gonna bring it down to one HP. Wait, how is it faster? What? How are you faster than me? How is that possible? Your base speed is, oh, I bet you it has a, maybe a nature, I don't know. I don't know how that's possible. Either way, it is what it is. I think what we do is we go Zoe for the Intimidate and then we try to bait it into a Thunder Punch here or a Swords Dance to counter that. Either way, hopefully it goes for a Thunder Punch here. Okay, Swords Dance is also fine, because here we just we just Volt Switch to break the, the Sash. It's also gonna do a lot of damage, because we are max special attack. Yeah, bring it down to one HP. We get the Re-Intimidate here, and then we are gonna go Volt Switch here. So this thing is pretty scary. We are going to... Do I want to go Stealth Rock? Now that Infernape's gone, we don't really need a Stealth Rock because we'll be able to one-shot the Honchkrow anyways. It's going to go for a double power-up punch once it Mega Evolves. It's going to get two boosts with power-up punch because we can intimidate both of those power-up punch, power punches. Oh, it went Fake Out. Wow, I should have just gone Protect. I forgot I had Fake Out. Really curious if we even survive this. <laughs> we have the Choppleberry for this reason. Oh, okay. Actually, not bad. Okay, we'll just go for more damage. It's now at half health. We will die here. But now that it's at half health, we should be able to intimidate with Gyarados and kill with Gyarados. And even if we don't, it is okay. I just want to protect to see what it's going for. Should still be... Okay, it's going body slam. If we don't kill, it's okay. I went for crunch this time. Now we simply go into Junebug. Bang. So Honchro comes in. At this point, we can sacrifice Bacon just for the safest play possible because this will one-shot us 100%. Because <laughs> now Jolteon comes in and finishes the job. Forget about that. Forget about that. Ooh, forgot about that. 
Oh, forgot about Sucker Punch. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> we need a big play here. It's possible that we can still win this. We have to survive! Live! Live, damn you! Fuck! Why does this thing have Sucker Punch, man? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why does Honchcrow have Sucker Punch, man? Okay, chat, hear me out. Since this isn't even for a PB, okay? If this was for a PB, it'd be different. If I give five subs, I'm not allowed to change my lead or change anything Move stats, anything, nothing with the team, five subs, I get to try again. And I will still add one to the whiteout. I will still add one to the whiteout. Because I think if I play better there, I win. I'm not going to change any items, I'm not going to change any moves, any stats, nothing. We just go immediately right back into it. I'm going to make a poll. You guys are going to vote. Is this allowed? Just, I just, it's not for a PB. If this was for a PB, I would take the loss, it's whatever. I just really, I really... I just don't want to end this night on a loss on something we've already beaten, okay? Make it two subs or no subs, I, I'll get five. It needs to like, it needs to be worth, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want this to be a thing I can just do every time. I can't afford to do five subs every time, I can afford to do five subs this time. <laughs> sucky, sucky, and we call it good? Yeah, I, I, I can't really do that, man. For like two and a half weeks, I have not got back to Sabrina, and I just, I just can't go into the weekend with the knowledge of, I have to start from the fucking beginning again. I can't do it, dude, I can't do it. Okay, the chat voted on yes. You guys voted yes. There we go. There's the proof. I got shit on. But this time, I'm going to win, I promise. Now, the big thing here is that we got really good RNG last time with Rock Slide. I do not think that will happen again, but we will try. Let's see how much we do with Rock Slide this time. <gasps> the crit anyways! Oh my god! Yes, RNG! Yes! Yes, RNG! Holy shit, it's on my side. The RNG even believes this is the run. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, it went Kangaskhan this time. <gasps> Wait, I get free Kangaskhan damage. This is big. This is big. Trace Dilds has done its job. That's right, that's right. It goes for fucking fake out, man. Ugh! Okay, we're good. We could have played that a little better, but it's fine. We get free earthquake damage. That's huge damage. And it only got one boost from that power up punch, so it's actually fine. One dragon dance. Because after that Intimidate, it can't one-shot us anymore. Paralysis here would be really bad. Ah! Please. Ah, come on, man. Ah, man. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. We got lucky RNG. The computer also gets lucky RNG. It's fine. 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 For Honchcrow, we need bacon and Junebug to be alive. Because we need to be able to get our own Sucker Punch and First Impression. Fluffers, if we set up Stealth Rocks now. Oh, do we live two Power Up Punches? We do because we have the Berry. This is the right play. Because this will make it so Galissapod can potentially just one-shot the Honchro. I don't know why this thing went for Crunch instead of Power Up Punch, but that's honestly fine. And now we just go for damage. So that way Jolteon can come in and probably guarantee the kill, because this should kill. Wow, we actually maybe kill it with Fluffers? Oh, so close, so close. We know we outspeed with Jolteon, we just go Thunderbolt here. We know that Volt Switch does like 99% of its health. No, why didn't that, wait, why? Oh, because he didn't close combat yet. Oh, interesting, 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 interesting. Okay, we have a super high defense and we resist this. And that was a crit, okay. Only problem is that I don't know a first impression one shots. Surely, right? After a close combat defense drop, nice, okay. So we get the damage, we switch into Jolteon because we assume it's going for Drill Peck here. We Thunder Wave because I, I knew you Stupid fucker, you were going for Thunder Punch or Sucker Punch. Yes, it didn't go for Sucker Punch again. Yes, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I told you. I told you. I told you I could do it. I told you I could do it if you gave me another chance. I, I told you. I. Ow, ow, that hurts so bad. <laughs>
I like didn't slap my desk correctly and that hurt <laughs> really bad. The run lives. And if anybody in the future with the YouTube video has a problem with it, you unfortunately are going to have to take it up with the people that were in the chat. It was their vote. Also, I need to remember for the future, assuming that we don't beat the game on this run, <laughs> I'm going to assume every time that the King Kong goes for fake out. I just need to remember to protect every single time the King Kong comes in. Obviously, I will not do that again, especially with this run. I will not do that again. I just, I couldn't do it. I needed it. The total amount of runs is 20. It's always going to be the number of whiteouts minus one, dude. This rival fight should be, based on the prep we've done, relatively free. And then the strategy in this fight is going to be you lead with Jolteon, kill the Seraptor with Volt Switch, because we can just switch right into trace dilds at that point and hope that it doesn't switch into blastoise but we would arena trap if they go into electivire or dermanitan or anything we just arena trap keep them in there the rival fight isn't awfully hard our pokemon are very strong this should be a very doable fight we have pokemon that can switch in safely should be relatively safe if we're lucky he'll just switch star after out that'd be kind of cool because then i get a free volt switch on some other more frightening pokemon awesome Send in Electivire. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have a Blastoise this run. He has a Venusaur this run. Oh, the team is actually different. Wouldn't it be kind of cool if I reloaded the save really quick and actually brought the right team in for the correct Pokemon I'm up against? Wouldn't that be really cool if I just did that really quick? Because I had the wrong, had the wrong team up. Okay, so this time it's huge power Azumarill. So we still need Jolteon, Darmanitan, and Electivire, and Staraptor are all the same. Because we can still lead Volt Switch there with Jolteon, force the switch out, and then when we Volt Switch, send in Slow King for free. And then Venusaur to either have to stay in or eat a Psychic Attack for free. And we could just give the, the Ground Berry to Slow King to make sure that it is eating that earth power really easily the first time. We know he starts with Seraptor. We're gonna get a free Volt Switch damage here. Now, I probably should have put the ground type berry on our Slow King, but I'm hoping because it's not Stab that it won't be that big of a deal. A uh, big of a deal. He did stay in, which is interesting. So we're gonna have to tank a big earth power here, but Psychic is gonna do quite a bit. Ooh, that's right. Ah, Sleep Powder, that's right. That's right. Okay, wake up. Nice. Huge Psychic here. Okay, so this is where it gets a little interesting because we need to switch out. It's gonna go for another Earth Power. So it's just dead here. Yeah, okay, huge kill. I could have played that a little better with our, our item usage. I probably should have drawn Chesto Berry, but it's fine. Wow, we went for Brave Bird. Just went straight up for... Brave Bird. All right. Oh, I... Of course it crits, dude. Of course it crits. Like, you're so cringe. We're going to hopefully not die to this Brave Bird. Hopefully. The 1 HP! Sago's so cracked! The one HP! Oh my god! What a moment, dude! Holy shit! And then we can arena trap here with trace dilds. I kind of want to know what it's going for, but I'd also rather just go earthquake and kill. Very nice. So now in comes Azumarill, and then it doesn't have anything that can one-shot us, so we're just gonna go Mud Bomb, see what happens. It's now gonna go for Play Rough again, which means we just go into Sank Leaf, and then Triage Giga Drain should be enough to finish it off. And then we might actually just be able to finish this off with Stank Leaf, because all it is is Electivire. Why did it go Plasma? That's so funny. It's just throwing. Simply throwing. <laughs> okay, this was... A guaranteed win regardless. Very nicely done, everybody. Now we have the double battle, which we need a semi-different team here for. With our Galissapod, we should be able to one-shot it with first impression um, on turn one. And if that doesn't kill, we will hopefully 
be able to kill with Sucker Punch right after. We will also probably bring Jolteon for this fight. Umbreon can stall. Uh, like Umbreon is a decent option here. I could bring Umbreon in. I need to fix its EVs really quick, but if we do that. All right, so chat, here's how we want this to go. We are going to protect this turn. And then the hope is that Masquerain is going to not get faked out, is going to bug buzz Gothitelle. I'm going to protect. Hopefully the Incineroar goes for a fake out on Umbreon. And hopefully Gothitelle goes for a move that is also on Umbreon. That's what we're hoping happens turn one. We get protect. That's unfortunate, but not the worst thing ever. Went for hidden power on Umbreon, which is fine. Okay, so here's what we do. We sucker punch Gothitelle this turn. And then hopefully Masquerain doesn't throw and goes for a um, Bug Buzz on Gothitelle. That's the hope. No, you gotta go Bug Buzz, dude. You gotta go Bug Buzz there. Ooh, yes. Honestly, that's not bad. Masquerain dying here really isn't that big of a deal because we get to keep our Umbreon alive, which means another turn of like basically free protect. Why are you hard focusing Incineroar, dude? You need to stop hard focusing Incineroar, please. Oh, God, the AI, dude. The AI is so cringe, man. This is not good. We really need him to stop focusing the other Pokemon. We really need this Gothitelle to die. I'm worried Exploud isn't actually going to do anything good here, but I mean, we just need this Gothitelle to die. So I'm going to Sucker Punch again for a little more damage. Please. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. I can't really let Exploud die just yet, but there's not really a lot I can do. Oh, it went Heat Wave. We actually might live, maybe? No. So now it's all up to our Pokemon, which is a little scary. <laughs> all right, fuck it. Let's go, the double protect, double protect. Massive. Okay, it's still going Dark Pulse. Wow, it's still going Dark Pulse. Why is it going Dark Pulse? Holy shit, the RNG's on our side, Jet. It's actually on our side. Ooh, it went Dazzling Gleam this time. That kills. So it was just going Scald every time and then decided this time it wanted to go Dazzling Gleam, I guess. The problem is that there are still, after Houndoom, there's still three more Pokemon. So we have to play like super smart here. We just kill Houndoom here. We just kill Houndoom. Just kill Houndoom. Just get it off the field. We'll take one hit from Pre-Marina. We have maximum special defense investment with Junebug. So now Aegislash comes in. I don't really know how else to make this part consistent. I don't know how to make this battle consistent. It's our encounters are already RNG. So I can only make it so consistent on my end. If it comes down to the AI not being a fucking idiot, like I don't know what to do other than make it a best two out of three. What do we how do we feel about a best two out of three with this with this fight? Can, like, can we make an addendum to the, the rule set? Because I don't love the fact that we would lose a run completely to the AI on my team just being a fucking idiot. Like, is it a whiteout considering half your team is still fine? Well, the problem is like, this is all I really got. I guess that's true, right? Because I, I, it's, it's only three of my Pokemon. That's actually kind of a good point. It's not really my entire fault it's a whiteout. So technically, if we lose it twice, that's six Pokemon fainting on my end. Because if we lose it two out of three, then six of my Pokemon fainted and we like, that can sort of count as a whiteout, you know? All right, we're gonna let the chat vote. I'm gonna do a poll. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do a poll. Maybe use a different team for the best two out of three. I agree with that as well. Well, at the end of the day, we did get five votes for yes and two to no. So we will make this battle a best two out of three going forward. Surely it kills, right? Surely. Surely. Oh, no. <laughs> so let's see. How do we change it up for the second one? Just give me a chance here. Give me a chance. We want to make sure we don't get hit with fake out. So we're going to protect with Jolteon as we did last time. Please, Bug Buzz got to tell. They did fake out on Masquerain. Nice. Okay. That's what I was hoping for. That is what I was hoping for. That's really good. So now we can Volt Switch on the Gothitelle to make sure that it dies. Hopefully from Bug Buzz here. Please, Bug Buzz the Gothitelle. I'm begging you. I'm begging you to Bug Buzz the Gothitelle. Please. But yes. Please. Please be Gothitelle. Please be Gothitelle. Yes. Please kill. Yes. Oh, my God. Thank you. Okay. Oh, it's so big. So big. See, again, it's just RNG. It's just RNG. Okay, Houndoom comes in, which is also perfect for us. I think I just have to Scald then, because the Houndoom doesn't have anything that should be able to one-shot us. Rain Dance is optimal, but I think this is just a better aggressive play. Okay, that's kind of what I thought might happen. So Masquerain dies, which is why we needed to get damage in here. Big Scald here. Why did you send in Sept? Okay, whatever, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's actually fine. I'm gonna assume that they try to double up into Sceptile. 
I'm just gonna go Scald again. I think it goes Focus Blast here when it Mega Evolves, and I'm hoping it's into Houndoom. Okay, it actually went Mega Drain, which means that this has to kill, right? I was gonna say, otherwise the AI I don't think would even go for that. Okay, this is also fine because it shouldn't one-shot. Because it got intimidated. Nice. Much better this time around. Significantly better this time around. Again, we have to replicate this twice. So if we win this time, we just need to do the same thing again. But I'm not even gonna get ahead of myself. I'm not even gonna get ahead of myself. <laughs> Ooh, Incineroar avoids the attack. That's actually fine. Nice, okay, win for King's Shield again, which is great. Can you please hit Focus Blast? I need you to hit Focus Blast. At least we get a turn to heal, but you need to hit Focus Blast, Sceptile. I cannot stress enough, you need to hit one of those. <laughs> if it's just gonna keep King Shielding, then fuck Aegislash. Dude, it's missed three Focus Blasts, man. Three. Like, just do a different move at some point, man. So cringe. I think I just spam Scald on Aegislash and hope that we hit it once. Nice, nice. Oh, big flamethrower. Huge flamethrower. That's a massive flamethrower because Scald is going to do so much damage here too. We just keep it going. I don't care if it King Shields. We just keep up the pressure. If we wipe out Aegislash, this should be super doable. Like incredibly doable. x is going to die like on the next turn, but it's fine, man. We need to take out the Aegislash. Big damage on Primarina? Oh, except for... That's not gonna hurt Aegislash. Oh, no. Do we outspeed Aegislash? Oh, God. Do we outspeed? No, we don't outspeed. No, man! No, man! Okay, it's fine. 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 It's actually fine. We zippy zap the Primarina. Wow, Aegislash didn't go for King's Shield again. That's crazy. That's crazy. We get the kill on Primarina. Okay. And now, the question is, <laughs> what do we do? I mean, I feel like we maybe spiky shield this turn. AI is gonna fucking cheat, dude. Oh, it's gonna do the thing. It's gonna do the thing. Okay, okay, listen, how can we, how can we do this? Oh my God, man. Please, okay, it didn't sucker punch. It didn't sucker punch, so we at least get big damage here. This fight is so bad, dude. Like, why is the AI on my side so awful? It's just RNG, man. It's just all RNG. I don't know. I don't think we can win this, unfortunately. I think this is unfortunately GG for the run, chat. I simply have no way of stopping this Aegislash. Like, I can kill Mawile and hope that Aegislash just doesn't attack here, but it's about all I got. And it, 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 it attacked. GG. 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 It's just so dumb, man. It is so fucking stupid. This fight sucks major fucking dong, dude. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to, I, I don't know how to make this fight consistent. If the AI's an idiot, I just lose. Like, that's all it comes down to. I'm tired of chalking my sleep schedule to try to make these runs happen, and it just gets absolutely shit on by RNG, man. Like, I'm just, I'm molding right now. I'm simply molding. F this double battle. I can't just f say F to this double battle, dude. Like, how do I... I can't just say that this double battle doesn't matter. We've beaten it before, which is why I'm so confused. That battle's been easy before, and I'm not sure why it's giving us so much trouble right now. We just have to regroup and make next run even better, chat.